Welcome to our video on how omega-3 can help diabetics. Diabetes is a chronic disease that impacts the lives of millions of people worldwide due to the high levels of glucose in the blood. Diet plays an essential role in controlling blood sugar levels and preventing complications. And one of the most important dietary elements is omega-3. So what's so important about omega-3? What's the best way to get it and to maximize absorption? And are supplements a good or bad idea? We'll explore these themes and many more in today's video. Plus, stick around to find out how you can get three free gifts from us. Okay, let's get into it. Omega-3 fatty acids are a type of polyunsaturated fat that the human body cannot produce on its own, making them essential nutrients. These nutrients are vital for numerous body functions, including cell membrane integrity, neurological development, and the regulation of inflammation. They're key for bone strength, joints, skin health, brain health, and more. But what about diabetes? Many studies have shown that omega-3 fatty acids influence insulin sensitivity, thereby helping to regulate blood glucose levels, such as the 2022 meta-analysis of 46 studies titled The Effects of Omega-3 Fatty Acids in Type 2 Diabetes. It found significant improvements for HbA1c, the marker of long-term blood sugar control, triglyceride levels, HDL cholesterol, and C-reactive protein, the marker of systemic inflammation. To understand how omega-3 benefits diabetics, we must first dive into the mechanics of insulin in our body. Think of insulin as a specially designed key. When our body ingests food, it breaks down carbohydrates into glucose, a type of sugar, which our body can then use for energy. This glucose circulates in the blood and ideally insulin unlocks our cells, allowing glucose to enter and fuel them, much like a key opens a lock to let us into a room. Now picture a scenario where the keys are plentiful, but the locks are rusted and difficult to turn. This represents insulin resistance, a hallmark of type 2 diabetes. Despite the abundance of insulin, the cells resist its action, leaving glucose stranded in the bloodstream. This can result in feelings of fatigue as your muscles and other cells are not getting the energy they require from glucose. This high circulating glucose level in turn is what we identify as high blood sugar which can oxidize cholesterol particles, damaging nerves, and trigger the buildup of plaque in arteries. Studies indicate that omega-3 can enhance insulin sensitivity, effectively helping to lubricate those rusted blocks, thus promoting efficient entry of glucose into cells. This increases energy availability and helps manage blood sugar levels, alleviating the classic diabetes symptoms. In addition to enhancing insulin sensitivity, omega-3 fatty acids offer a host of other health benefits for diabetics. At a top level, it's their anti-inflammatory properties. Chronic inflammation is often a silent companion of diabetes, contributing to the progression of the disease and its associated complications. By helping to dampen this inflammation, omega-3 fatty acids not only improve overall metabolic health, but also potentially slow the advancement of diabetes. There are several ways in which reducing inflammation can help. As we discussed, there's first insulin resistance. Chronic inflammation can exacerbate insulin resistance because certain inflammatory molecules such as tumor necrosis factor alpha or TNF-alpha and interleukin-6 IL-6 can interfere with the insulin signaling pathway. Inflammation can also directly affect the beta cells in the pancreas, which are responsible for producing insulin. In overweight people, fat cells can begin to release pro-inflammatory cytokines, which continues the cycle of inflammation and insulin resistance. So by getting plenty of omega-3s through the foods we'll discuss shortly, it's possible to make a significant difference in the whole inflammation and insulin resistance cycle.
And before we move on, omega-3s have also shown promise in reducing the risk of diabetic retinopathy, a severe eye condition that can lead to blindness. In the famous 2015 Predimed study, researchers found that participants who ate at least 500 mg per day of long-chain omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids showed a 48% reduced risk of sight-threatening diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy occurs because high blood sugar damages the light-sensitive tissues in the back of the eye. But long-chain omega-3 fatty acids keep the blood vessels strong and robust, essentially increasing their resilience against damage from high blood sugar. As you can see, everything in the body is connected. Okay, so those are the main ways omega-3 helps to fight or prevent diabetes. Before we get to specific foods to maximize absorption, how about those free gifts? Discover an entire world of diabetes-fighting foods with our new book, 10 Incredible Foods That Reduce Blood Sugar. Plus, you'll discover the real reason why type 2 diabetes, obesity, and heart disease are increasing at an alarming rate. And find out what really works when it comes to preventing these illnesses by watching our free diabetes fighting documentary. Plus, get a free recipe book, Amazing Alternatives to Rice, Pasta, and Bread, which contains over 50 delicious and easy-to-prepare recipes that the whole family will love. These gifts are free and waiting for you to grab them in the description box below. Now, back to our video. Did you know that there are different types of omega-3? Primarily, these are divided into plant-based and animal-based categories, and they have different impacts on our bodies. Alpha-linolenic acid, or ALA, is the primary plant-based omega-3 found in foods like flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. While ALA offers its own health benefits, our body needs to convert it into more active forms. Isosapentaenoic acid, or EPA, and docosahexaenoic acid, also known as DHA. Now this process is somewhat inefficient. In fact, researchers believe that only one to 10% of the ALA in foods like flaxseed are converted into DHA, the form which has anti-inflammatory benefits. Now, flax seeds have many other benefits than ALA alone, such as the powerful antioxidant lignin, which is also believed to improve insulin sensitivity. And ground flax seed is considered a superfood. However, omega-3 absorption from plant-based foods isn't as high as from animal-based sources. Okay, so what sources are the best? Wild-caught fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines are the most potent. They contain readily available EPA and DHA, meaning that your body doesn't need to convert it. These more potent and bioavailable fatty acids therefore offer more immediate omega-3 benefits. In addition, DHA is a major structural component of the retina of the eye, which could explain its efficacy in combating diabetic retinopathy. Beyond fish, some eggs, often labeled as omega-3 eggs or enriched eggs, are laid by hens that have been fed a diet rich in omega-3s, which often means the chicken eats flax seeds amongst other things. These eggs can provide a good source of bioavailable DHA omega-3, converted by the chicken from ALA to DHA. Next we have meat. While all meats contain some omega-3 fatty acids, the levels can vary greatly depending on the animal's diet. For example, grass-fed beef typically has higher omega-3 content than grain-fed beef. Similarly, pasture-raised chickens have higher omega-3 levels than those raised on industrial feed. Pasture-raised chickens and grass-fed beef have higher omega-3 levels because they consume a natural diet rich in diverse plants and insects, which are high in these beneficial fatty acids, compared to industrially raised counterparts fed a grain-based diet. Now, we have one final source of bioavailable DHA omega-3 to discuss, algae. While the most common association with DHA is fatty fish, the truth is these fish are simply the middlemen. It's the marine algae they consume that are the original producers of this vital nutrient. 
Microalgae, which form the base of marine food chains, have a unique ability to synthesize DHA from simpler fatty acids, utilizing their exceptional biochemical pathways. Fish feeding on these microalgae or on other organisms that have consumed the algae accumulate the DHA in their tissues. Hence, when we eat fatty fish, we are effectively obtaining DHA that originated from algae. Moreover, emerging research suggests that DHA from algae may be as effective as fish for increasing DHA levels in our body, with one study finding it to be as effective as eating salmon. This means that whether you're vegetarian, vegan, or simply not a fan of fish, you don't have to miss out on the benefits and superior DHA. Okay, now you're probably wondering, what about fish oil supplements? While they do contain DHA omega-3, they may not be the best option. Recent research, including multiple meta-analysis of randomized clinical trials, has found no significant impact of long-term fish oil supplementation on cardiovascular outcomes. One major issue lies in its susceptibility to oxidation or rancidity. In oil form, omega-3s are delicate and prone to oxidize when exposed to heat, light, or air. This can potentially lead to the formation of harmful compounds in the oil, negating any potential health benefits. In 2022, independent researchers conducted tests on fish oil supplements, finding that more than 1 in 10 fish oil supplements tested were found to be rancid. When oils become rancid, they develop compounds such as peroxides and aldehydes, which lead to oxidative stress and inflammation in the body, contributing to heart disease and other health issues. Moreover, it's essential to acknowledge that a supplement might not entirely replicate the benefits of consuming nutrients from whole foods. When we consume omega-3s from dietary sources, we're not just getting those fatty acids, we're also getting a host of other nutrients that work synergistically. Therefore, even though fish oil supplements are widely promoted, it may be better to obtain omega-3 from dietary sources like fatty fish, algae, eggs, grass-fed meat, flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, and walnuts. So to wrap it up, omega-3 fatty acids are essential for enhancing insulin sensitivity, improving blood glucose regulation, reducing inflammation, the brain joints and skin, and although found in both plant and animal sources, the most potent and bioavailable forms of omega-3s are from fatty fish and microalgae. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions, comments, or tips to share with the others in the community. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button. And don't forget, you can claim your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below or visiting us at diabetictalk.com. We want to keep making informative, research-based videos for you. So if you gained value from this video and would like more of it, you can send us a super thanks by clicking the thanks button at the bottom of the video. We're Diabetics Talk, and it's our mission to bring you the best tips and tricks to help you fight diabetes. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a diabetes-fighting day.